Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, June 6th. The time's around 2.15 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 21 degrees Celsius. And this is a laneway just off of Woodycrest Avenue. And there is Charlie the Woodle. And for this one, I'm gonna be taking Charlie for a walk over to Withrow Park. It's been a while since I've had Charlie on the channel. Well, I've had a few walks of him on the Johnny Stumbles channel. Not sure which one this video will end up on. And we're starting just at this small parquet here. And just to the south of here is Danforth Avenue. Just let Charlie sniff around a bit and do his thing. All right, let's get moving, Charlie. He has no idea where we're going right now. This is not his usual route. Let's go, boy. Seems to be a bit hesitant. This is not the way he normally goes. Charlie is eight or nine years old. And between now and the last time I made a video of him, he underwent surgery for a tumor that was found on his paw. I believe it's good news now, and he is cancer free. So what I'm going to do here is head down, down to Danforth, and then I think we're gonna walk along over to Carla, which is going to be interesting because Charlie here doesn't really like walking on major streets that are busy with lots of people and traffic. And this is in Greektown. I was in the area recording a video. And as luck would have it, his owners reached out and asked if I could drop by and give him a walk. So I stayed in the area, I picked up a lunch. And then I went and got this guy. So we're going for his afternoon walk. He's probably wondering what the heck is going on, but at least he's comfortable with me. The first few times I walked him, he was kind of always looking over his shoulder for his owners going, who is this guy? So this part could be interesting, walking along Danforth here for several blocks. Let's see how he handles it. Oh, there's another dog he's already run into. He seems <laughs> reluctant to move past that other dog. He's moving well. Doing something a little different today. So this is west on the south side of Danforth through Greektown. Did you hear me? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? And the air quality today isn't particularly good. That's due to over 160 wildfires taking place in Quebec. But he is handling this much better than he used to along major streets. There was a period about, I think it was last summer when he lived with me actually, for a few months. Every time we walked anywhere near Young Street, he would kind of freeze up and be all nervous and jittery.
And Withrow is the biggest major park in this area. And that home hardware is closing down as they're making way for construction due to an Ontario line connection at Pape Station. I said I grabbed some lunch after my last video. This is where I grabbed it from, Subway. And we are at Pape and Danforth. I think we'll be able to make this light. I am armed with some snacks for him and some poop bags should the mood strike him. And the last time I saw Charlie, a few weeks ago, he had some ticks on him. He stayed somewhere up north, but they've been removed. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> he will do that sometimes. He will lunge at other dogs. He's harmless. All right, this is Carla. So we can go left here and find our way down to Withrow Park. And this is a newer place. Taps and it's quite good. I was there maybe three weeks ago watching the Leafs play the Panthers. Losing to the Panthers. We've got a Florida plate. So Withrow Park should be just up ahead here. There is a Catholic school, I'm not sure the name. Holy Name School, actually, I think it says. And this is the Riverdale neighborhood. Creektown is really just a BIA that runs along Danforth Avenue.
I don't need to show you what he's doing right now, but you could imagine a hind leg lifted. There's some gorgeous homes along this street. And into the park. There's a big ice rink where the Maple Leafs once held a practice. Join us every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for the Withrow Farmer's Market, June to October, rain or shine. Should I just let him dictate where we're going? Here, let's walk on the grass a bit. I doubt this is used for any type of organized ball. There's a public restroom here, which the city shuts down I think late in the fall, and it stays closed until spring. Just one of those nonsensical things the city does. I think he deliberately picked a spot in the shade to do this. Ready to keep moving? Tell me that's not a cute doggy. Let's go, boy. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want a treat already? You didn't do anything to deserve a treat. This is harder than it looks, I've got. Camera in one hand. I am not putting down his leash in the other. Maybe I should have just had these treats. Okay, give me a paw, give me a paw. Give me a paw, paw. All right. Good boy. That's all you're getting. Let's go. At some point, you're gonna have to pick a spot and do your stuff, buddy. At least there's plenty of garbage cans. I'd say that's my least favorite part of walking a dog. If that's not your least favorite part, I think there's something wrong with you. He's got his eye on that squirrel. You are not catching a squirrel. 
There is zero chance. Oh, there's a big off-leash dog park down here. Charlie gets plenty of off-leash action in his backyard. We're just going to avoid going in there. Seems drawn to the area though. I'm surprised they don't have double fences here. Oh well, we're gonna walk around the perimeter of this. Not sure what he wants, probably another snack. Well, you gotta earn it. All right, I think there's a double fence on this end here. So just to the south of here, Withrow Park is bordered by Bain Avenue. And I believe that is Logan right there. With some gorgeous homes. Along Logan and somewhere just over there is the house where Gord Downey of the Tragically Hip once lived. I made a video checking that out, I think about two years ago on the channel. And the Bain Co-op apartments are just over there. All right, let's head up that way, back to the east side of the park. Maybe it's time. He seems to be scouting a spot. Come on, do it. All right, I'm gonna point the camera away and get a bag out. Harder to do with one hand than it looks. All right, I'm gonna stop recording and take care of business. There's a receptacle right there and I'll be back <laughs> once I've done that. You don't need to see this. All right, who's a good boy? Hopefully that's the only one of those that's on top for this one. There's some of the Bain co-op apartments. I need to do a walk that covers Bain again. That's a really interesting stretch. And let's head back up towards Carlaw.
Not again. I feel like most dog owners have a time limit for which they tolerate their dog just sniffing the ground in one spot. I grew up with dogs. I was, or when I was born, I think we had a Dalmatian, but that was short lived. And we had an Irish setter for most of my life. Then an American Cocker Spaniel. And I moved out of the house. But after that one, my parents had a German Shepherd Doberman mix. It was actually a small, very friendly dog. It wasn't what you might think of it. And then my mom had a Yorkie after that. And now we're just chilling. Taking in some shade and the breeze. That's really what the viewers want to see, Charlie. All right, we might just sit here for five minutes or so and I will resume recording when it's time to get back up. I'm gonna let him have a little break in the park, why not? All right, I think he's had enough of that. Let's go. He got up about three minutes after I stopped recording. There's that off-leash zone again. I think the city has done a good job of peppering this park with waste bins. It is very well kept and clean. I guess this is used for ball hockey. During the summer months. Imagine how crazy it would be with the Maple Leafs holding an open practice here. What do you want? What do you want? Just want to stand there? Let's go. 
Oh, he spots an enemy. And there's some more stunning properties here in Carla. South of here, Carla is a former major industrial and commercial strip. Goodbye, Withrow Park. Hello, whatever street this is. Because it's a one-way street, I think they don't have a street sign on uh, this end. Because no one would be turning left onto it. As a pedestrian, I'd still like to know what the street name is. So what I think I'll do is I'll turn north at the next street and we'll just head up to Danforth. It's an absolutely beautiful neighborhood. is a bit bluer now than it was earlier. Earlier it was just like white and hazy. This is Pape? Okay, I have an idea. We can go right back to where this started. Oh, that's a packed, what I assume was a 72 Pape bus. Specializing in duplication of corporate videos. DVD to DVD. There's a pop-up art gallery. So this is north, north on Pape Avenue. Court Avenue. Should I test out the crosswalk here? Yeah, let's do it. Let's wait for this car here to pass. Press the button. Get the lights moving. Oh, we got a crossing guard. Thank you.
wonder if Charlie knows where he is now. I have no idea if his owners ever take him up Cape this way. Dogs have a pretty good sense of direction. He's certainly handling these major streets pretty well. That is Hazelwood Avenue. There's a public library branch right here on the right. I was not aware of that. I think a dog in a car was barking at him. So we're just gonna keep going north on Pape here. back a bit. Charlie, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Maybe he's expecting a treat. to turn right. I kind of have the Littlest Hobo theme song playing in my head when I walk this guy sometimes. There's Cape Station, but we're gonna cut kind of across this way. So they built line two, the subway line here, using a cut and cover method. And rather than do it directly over top of Danforth Avenue, they did it a block to the north along this stretch. And that's why there's these linear parking lots and parks just north of Danforth. And this exit is a bugger. There's a lot of stairs you have to climb up if you're coming out here. I've also seen countless people just hop the turnstile there. So that park where we started is not too far off, and I think that's where we're gonna finish. I'm not gonna show where he lives on video, of course.
these homes don't have parking in front. So they've got these laneways and parking spots and garages in behind them. And it's back to Woody Crest Avenue. And this little park, whatever the heck you want to call it. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this one with Charlie the Woodle around Greek Town, heading down to Withrow Park. We're just a minute from where he lives. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support the channel. There's links or channels. I don't know which channel this is going to end up on. There's links to the Johnny Strides YouTube channel membership and Patreon membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. Here you go, Charlie. Well done. You walked, you peed, you pooped. Anywho, <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. Ooh, that was not how my camera normally flips around. It actually turned upside down. All right, Charlie, you know what to say. Charlie, say yoink. He's not going to say it. Anywho, yoink.